we started to have trouble getting her to go to school. So that was really difficult. Like it was an argument every single day, um, trying to just get her out of bed to go to school and she wasn't interested and, um, but she wasn't like, she wasn't sick as such. And um, yeah, started to realize that it, everything I tried wasn't working and we we're just fighting all the time. Um, so in the end, we just decided that we needed someone else to step in. First off, we needed to see a doctor, um, so we went and, and spoke to the doctor and I guess I didn't think the doctor would really know much about uh, mental health and I wasn't sure how he would approach it with her and, and, she, and she was worried about talking to somebody about what was going on and he was a man and a stranger, but um, he was he was really good. I had a chat to him before she saw him, so he knew my concerns. So when he spoke to her, he asked lots of, lots of questions about how she was feeling and he was really gentle and understanding and, and that made it really easy for us. And then we, um, so he referred her to a psychologist and when we went to see the psychologist, um, she went in on her own. It was really hard to let her go in on her own, um, but I guess I just had to believe that on this occasion, I needed help. We needed help to deal with this situation and I just had to trust that this person was a professional and they had her best interests at heart. So I needed to let them have that conversation with her. I sort of worried about being judged as a mother. So I, I found it really difficult um, to want to reach out and get that help because I, I felt like I should be able to fix it myself. And, and also I was a bit worried about her talking to someone because I felt really exposed. Like I was worried that she'd be telling them that I wasn't a good parent or that, you know, would be talking about me when of course really um, it was about her. And I didn't want to pump her for information later. I had to sort of say, how did it go? Or how do you feel? And, um, and she didn't really tell me much and that was really difficult. But um, I guess the difference is that after a few sessions, um, I could see that she was starting to feel a little bit better. and. Um, so I just had to trust that it was working. I had to remind myself that if I wasn't a good parent, I we wouldn't be there. Like, so my job was to to recognise that she needed some sort of help and to take and to reach out to someone. So I was being a good parent. That was what a good parent does. With my daughter working with a psychologist, she's been taught how to recognise how her body feels so she knows when she's starting to feel anxious or she knows when she's more down than she might usually be um, so now when that happens um, one the first thing she says is mum I think we need to go and, and see the psychologist so she's actually really good at identifying herself when she wants that extra help it's okay if if life's not rosy all the time and and, and it's okay to reach out for that help